Hello everybody. Welcome back to Deus Ex. And we last left off, well, here. Uh, this is still in post-commentary. I just recorded Subnautica again for Friday because I'm really enjoying that game as timid as I am in that. But we're not here to talk about Subnautica. We're here to talk about Deus Ex. So this room I think we're going to be spending a lot of time in just because there seems to be a lot of places to go and I wasn't exactly sure where to go. You know, where you're supposed to go. But that's never stopped me before, right? Oh, there's a guy up there. Can't shoot him through the fence even though it's a chain link and you totally should be able to, albeit it probably wouldn't be as easy to do so, but uh, oh well. We, we dodged that problem. <laughs> If you're wondering where I, why I knew he was there, I can hear him walking. You probably couldn't hear it over my yammering on, but uh, I totally could. By the way, if you were observant, you just saw a guy over there. Yeah. I was observant, too. For once. There's another guy coming right at me. You can hear him stomping around. I think he's above me. I think he is above me. Oh, there's a guy right there. Apparently I said sniper rifle. Who needs a stinking sniper rifle? I got an assault rifle. Watch yourself. This one's and there's a rockets. Mess. And that dude is, in fact, um, hostile, so don't feel bad shooting his ass. Or chopping him, or whatever you're gonna do, because he was apparently going to shoot me. Boy, I remember Men in Black used to be deadly. I'm not talking the Will Smith malarkey, I'm talking the, you know, in this game. <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen someone snipe someone leaning when they're leaning, but, uh, you have now. I mean, of course, in real life. I don't think snipers do that. I think they're usually laying on the ground. I will now explain why you have been allowed to reach Sector 3. Come to the Aquinas Hub. Until you have received my instructions, I will not open the blast doors to Sector 4. This is one of the dumber things I've ever came across. It says, you need to go to the Aquinas Hub. Because I'm looking for Mr. Thomas Aquinas. Anyway, you go. You saw where that was. It was locked, so you cannot get in there. I'm not sure how to get in there. I don't know if I ever figured I don't remember if I ever figured it out. More stuff I will never use, because why else would I have taken those hacking points, right? I'm not going to make that obsolete. No, no, no. Apparently I just did not think of the idea of using one of those and picking that up, because that would make too much sense. I couldn't do that. I don't know who came up with this architecture, but whoever did probably should have been fired. Let's make a hallway leading to something you have to climb over that's taller than you are. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, well, what in the hell am I supposed to do? You won't let me in there, so... Did you give me a code, or...? I don't think the 848946 is going to work, but I think I might have tried it. I'm pretty sure this is they give you the code somewhere, because otherwise the game's not beatable as far as I understand it. But uh, I didn't have the code yet, so I was like, oh, I guess I'll just look around some more. I probably just didn't find it yet, whatever. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to me in Deus Ex, as you might have guessed. Why does my mouse look so weird on the screen when I'm in the editing thing? I don't know, it looks like a like a cross instead of the... That's weird. Normally it's a mouse pointer. Anyway, I never saw that. I never paid attention to that before. Did I actually try that code? I might have actually tried that code. I think I did. I don't think that's it, buddy. Good try, but no, that's... Good job, past me. You at least tried something. That's, uh... That's about all I can say about that. Oh. I don't remember what this does. I think it opens a door or you just turn off the cameras. I don't remember. We'll see. Oh, right. That gives you the augment for free. Uh, close that or open that. Turn the camera off. Turn that camera off. So I did open camera one. It's a door. Anyway, I'll, I'll drop a one of these things temporarily, then pick it back up. Drop that one. Pick this, upgrade, I do, I remember what I upgraded, I think I upgraded my arms, because that's like the only other thing I ever use. Because it feels like, well, I mean, why not, right, I mean, I'm not using any of this other malarkey, so, yeah, just upgrade the arms, man, why not, I do push things sometimes, you know. Don't know how much more I'll be doing of that in this game, but eh, it's like, yeah, I did, did better to pick some to upgrade something I actually use, anything than this other stuff. 
Anyway, this is a huge room, as you might have well noticed. That's where I came up from. Probably shouldn't go back that way, so I didn't. Pick up this ammo, what's over here? No, it's a dead end. That's what's over here. <laughs> well, at least now we know. So I think at this point I might start searching down below to see what's down below. Because I thought I'd searched everything upstairs. At least everything I could find upstairs, so... That's the only logical thing, right? Search down. And then I heard a moan, I was like, what is that noise? Also, if you value all forms of life regardless, this is probably not the video for you. Because when I meet an alien life form that doesn't like me, <laughs> it's not surviving. Nope. Also, I don't think you really have to come down here unless you really need a key. I think there is a key down here, but I don't know if you really need it. But I do know there's a key down here. I was trying to play, uh, you know, sneaky here. It actually worked pretty well, compared to the first one where I just ate the poison in the face. Anyway, that key is to the stairwell, which I really didn't need, because we've already been down here. That just opens the door on the bottom level to the stairwell. So if you didn't find the ladder up, you can use that. Again, not much reason to go down there unless you want to kill some greasels or whatever they're called. But I didn't know that at the time, so there we are. I was like, is this what this opens? I think this is what this opens. It is. Didn't do me a damn bit of good, but it is what I thought it was. That's where we came in, them nuts. Don't go back that way. Okay, there we So I was like, well, where else is there? Of course, I didn't check over there yet. Of course, I don't even know if I knew there was an over there yet. I think I went back upstairs. I did, because I didn't realize there's another whole area on the downstairs over there. But I think I do find that later, because I know about it, so... I must have. <laughs> logicing this out. That's the, uh, ticked-off technician that was actually an enemy, and here's the, uh, Mr. Thomas Aquinas hub, and, uh, someplace I have no reason being. Whatsoever. Well, I mean, I guess I can go pick up this ammo. That's, I guess, yeah, we can justify that. And, the, you know, this ammo, we, yeah, we can justify that. I was happy. Don't need the tech goggles, though, that's for wusses who can't see. I was like, can I use your newfound sniper point to pick off anybody else? No, I think I killed them all already. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of a good feeling, kind of a bad feeling. Oh, yeah, you already killed them all. <laughs> it's like, well... What, 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 I, what, oh, wait, no, I've been here before, haven't I? Have I been here before? No. All the explosives... Fire, oh, right. The explosive locker code is 4225. I don't know if I ever found that. <laughs> Explosive locker. There's nothing else up here, I don't think, besides that locker code, so... Once you found that... Oh, there's a dead guy in there. <laughs> Guess you don't... That's why you don't jump in there. Uh, doo -doo, this is where I was. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's another thing I apparently did not miss. I thought I missed it, but apparently I did not. I think I might have missed a keypad in there that might have gave me the code to the Aquinas hub. I... Yeah, that's not the explosives locker, Chief. But again, good try. I mean, you're throwing all the numbers you got at it. <laughs> not the right ones, but you are trying. That's about the most I can say for past me. You hear that clinking it periodically? That's coming from that area I said, I don't think there's anything over there. Well, there is. And it's a big one. Oh, is it a big one? But don't worry, I got some rockets, even though I didn't deserve them. Imagine if I'd had rockets, you know, the, from before that I did, I would have picked up again, but I didn't do that. It's over here to the right, the reactor lab, is where you're hearing that clinking from, I believe. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's in the... Oh, there's a thing right on the right. Yep, there it is. I remember this was kind of funny. This is a series of events. Yep. 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 This is, uh... This is my life now. This, uh, this, uh, now, you remember last time? When I said I wanted to go back and look? For that, uh... Maintenance droid? I thought it was in this room. It was not in this room. So I spent the longest time running around trying to find that maintenance droid. 
Until eventually I think I gave up and used some bioelectric cells. I wish I could say that this running around actually had a point, but I'm pretty sure that's what I was doing. It's... <laughs> yep. Dumb is as dumb does. And this is pretty stupid. Why am I going back to the same area I was just in? You've been here like four times now. Why did I go back here? There's no reason to go back here. <laughs> Apparently I realized this right around this time. Oh, uh, am I actually going to put two and two together here and go back downstairs? We'll see. It's always fun, because I don't remember what happened. Apparently I did. <laughs> It's almost like I can predict what I'm doing, and I, I'm, I promise you I never look ahead as to what I did. I just go and... I was trying to figure out what that button did, but I think that's just lowering the forklift. Because that's a forklift or something. Not really sure what the... Or that's raising the forklift. I'm not really sure what the purpose is, because you cannot possibly... Well, maybe you might be able to go over here and jump onto it and then jump onto those things. Possibly. I guess you could. It'd be kind of hard to do that, but I don't think I actually tried to do that. But looking at it now, I think that's possible. Yeah, like I said, I think eventually I just gave up and just went down here. And there's some stuff over there. I want stuff. I like stuff. Who doesn't like stuff in video games? <laughs> uh, oh right, I was looking at the, the, the endings, seeing which one I'd actually want, because I only have two unlocked now. And I was leaning toward Dark Age. Because I'm not a hypocrite, at least not on that, at least not on that scale, where I denounce the Illuminati and then join the Illuminati. Nah. Nah, fam, being a tyrant's not really that uh, important to me. It's not on my to-do list. Don't go up the ladder. You don't need to go up the ladder. Don't go up the stairs, either. What are you doing? Apparently, I did want to try it. Nope, no, I guess not. <laughs> Wow, it took me a long time to give up and just use the bioelectric cells, didn't it? Uh, lockpick, always good. Still to this day, not sure how they expect you to get over there unless they expect you to jump it. Because you cannot get here from this. Nope. And there's nothing, there's no boxes to, uh, step, step ladder your way up there that I could find. Can't grab those. So I guess I just expect you to evil Knievel yourself and launch yourself over the over the gap. I don't think I tried it, but maybe I did. What am I doing? Nope, I just gave up. <laughs> and use the bioelectric cells. Yep. Arguably, it might have been more efficient to just use the med packs because I'm full on those and I've been full on those. But uh, I like using regeneration. The, the the blue flashes calm my my uh, nervous wreck of an existence. All right. This is, remember the not respecting life part. Get ready for that, because I do a lot of that. These are the antimatter reactors. Two giant bombs waiting to blow. But first, you will have to go to sector four to shut down the coolant. Watch out for the escaped greys down below. You couldn't possibly go through with something like that. You'd kill everyone, including yourself. Uh huh. The greys. You remember the greys? <laughs> I remember the Greys. They still there? Who? The Greys. They're right outside by the reactors. You mean space aliens? We lost power when the missile hit. The cages. They came unlocked. You have a pretty clean shot at the surface if you leave now. No, no. Not until I see troops. How'd you get back here? This area is restricted. I was thinking about firing up the reactors. Ha <laughs> ha. Good one. Even the Seraphic 8X guys say the reaction's too unstable. They only bring it up to run tests. Alien technology? And that's what they say, but I think it's a lie. The Greys are just clones. They say from cells they got at Roswell, but how do we know? They could have just engineered monkeys to not have any... Can the Greys run the reactors? Ha! <laughs> They're monkeys. That's the thing. Maybe they have super brains, but they don't know anything about any alien civilization because they grew up in cages. Never been to Sector 4 myself, but they lock the blast doors because they're doing more than cloning down there. I found out one of the codes, 1038, but that turned out to be for the Akinas hub, here in Sector 3. I don't know. Maybe the Akinas system controls access. Okay, for the record, I was not the one skipping that. That automatically did. I was like, can I push the button? Push the button. Oh, I can't push the button. Because you gotta go to Sector 4 first. They're still out there. Yes, I know they are. Believe me, I know. I saw it and I was like, nope. 
Because I can't get close. They'd escape eventually. I knew. I can't get close to the thing, so let's just blow it away. All right, that's a good idea. Magically, the radiation, it's gone. We, I don't think that's how radiation works, but uh, according to the developers of this game, it is. Because it's just gone now from the dead body. And I was not letting any of these jackasses live. Live. Mm -mm. Nope. Why? Why, Barak? They didn't do anything to you. He tried to irradiate me. You saw it as well as I did. That and blowing away space aliens, like the greys. That's just satisfying, you know, that's just, it's just fun. Blowing away life, which is higher than you are, proves, makes a man feel big. And yes, that was totally a Zap Brannigan. D destroying another universe makes a man feel big, Kiff. And so, I was like, oh my god, I finally got to get coin or something. Oh, yay, apparently I did. <laughs> was it 1038? I don't even remember now. <laughs> or apparently back then I didn't remember. Uh, 1038, yes, I actually got it right this time. Fair warning, I don't remember what happens in here, so this isn't a journey for me, too. What did happen in here? You can tell I was a little nervous. I was like, I don't wanna go in here, man. What if that, that, that dude's in here? He wasn't, though. <laughs> I was a little disappointed that this was it. That, that's it? This is all there is? This hub? That's it? Come on, man. If you're wondering what that noise was, you won't be wondering for a lot longer. Ooh, a multi-tool. This writing is some freaking awesome writing. If you're wondering why I stood so long I was reading it, this person knows how to write. Andrew Hammond is a good writer. I assume that's actually a writer's name. Maybe that's just a fake author name they came up with. But whoever wrote that did a good job. Really grips you in the show not telling department, which is sadly all too rare nowadays. Some would argue I do way too much showing in my fiction, though, but, uh... Better too much than not enough, because telling is just so damn boring. But, uh, that's just some radical, newfangled whippersnapper talking in the fiction world. Let's see. I think I did a lot of speed reading here because I was, uh... Trying to read all this. Hope I mean, you can, you can pause the screen and read that, so you had a bit of an edge over me. But I would recommend you do so, because this is some pretty juicy stuff right here. Pretty juicy. Mm-hmm. There's old MacDonald and Bob Page. At least I assume that's Bobby Page. Little Bobby Page. All the way down, JC. Get to Page's compound and take him out. Everett and I will join you shortly. We'll bring back the old institutions. <clears throat> the prosperity of the last century. The giddy acquiescence. Trust us, JC. We can put the world back together. Now there's a voice I haven't heard in years. Rueful, as I would expect for the fall of the Illuminati, pining for its return. Either nostalgic or senile. Oh well, the old take comfort in delusions. No harm. Again, I'm not the one hitting mouse button that just automatically cuts off. I'm not sure why but it did. Oh, hi, dude. Nope, no mercy shown. You charged me. He's coming right at for me. Sorry for the flashing lights. Good God, that's not my thing. <laughs> These guys knew there was a bunch of things here, and they're just like, ah, you know what? Fuck the greys, man. We gotta just go hardcore. We gotta just go for Denton. Spare the greys who are radioactive, man. Don't do that. I think I went down there and got my stuff. Or maybe, no, I didn't. I just left it and said, fuck it, I don't need the stuff. <laughs> can I shoot him from here? Apparently I can. And I did, too. See? That's the dead guy I said I didn't want the stuff of. Apparently. So, let's go downstairs and, uh... Get my stuff now. Uh, uh, that not actually say anything. Okay, well, <laughs> don't sit near the radioactive waste, JC. Probably not healthy. And now we're going to see. Or wait, no, are we? Are we gonna see what's clank? What's clanking up a storm down there? Yes, we are. We will not tolerate such abominations of nature, mankind. They, they knew they could, but they didn't stop to think if they should. 
Who the fuck makes a spider robot? Science has gone too far. You don't do that, science. You don't create freaking spider machines. But they did. And look what happened to them. They're dead. They're long dead. And they're not coming back. Anyway, everyone, that's going to be it for this week in Deus Ex. Hopefully, I will see you all next week. Later, everybody. Have a good one.